Hello, my good buddies. My name's BrightKXY. Welcome back to my Heart Gold Deathlock. Uh, in the previous episode, we made our way to the basement of the Rocket Headquarters. As um, you can see here, I have got my Dark and Ghost type Pokemon ready, chilling out, ready to fight. Uh, these are the guys that I have pulled out of the underworld, and they are still with me. What I am going to do, as you can see, it's just recorded straight away from where I left off last time. So what we're going to do really quickly is we're just going to heal up our Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna use a potion on that on Baraki, um, and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna try and get this rocket stuff sorted out and all finished up. So there you go. Hello Tuesday. It is Tuesday. It is my holidays. I'm on holiday. I'm not on holiday while I'm recording, but I am on holiday while you're watching. I'm super psyched to be on holiday for a week. Oh, everybody loves holidays. Hold it, it's Joe though. Joe's here. Hold it. What I told you before was to deceive you. I thought it would let me tell you and would lead me to Lance. Well, he never showed up. No matter. I was planning to beat you after Lance, but since you're here, I will pay my debts. So we have a battle here against uh, our rival. I remember that this being a particularly difficult battle in Storm Silver because obviously the um, difficulty levels in those games are amped up to the max. Um, so. I feel like we need Spiritomb in here because Spiritomb has got the Hypnosis and the Dream Eater. Hopefully it can take whatever... Hopefully it can take whatever comes. Yeah, it eats that up real, really, really nicely. Please don't confuse me. Oh, dang, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, good grief. Uh, all the, the good luck that we had in the last episode has completely worn off. I'm going to try once more. If it doesn't work, then then somebody else is coming in right now. No. Fantastic. You stupid Golbat. You stupid Golbat. <laughs> I want it. I need eat. I need Eddie right now. I need Eddie with his electric type moves. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it out there. Anyway, we're gonna see how you like these bananas. I know I'm gonna confuse you. You know what goes around comes around. Okay. Right now we're gonna go for the dark pulse. Yeah. Come on. Hit yourself. Yes. I was going to say, you know what normally happens? They confuse you, you hit yourself. You confuse them, they don't hit themselves. But this one is hitting itself, which is very, very beneficial. Okay, so Goldbat is down. Who is coming out? Meganium. Oh, my life, it's Meganium. I'm scared of Meganium, I really am. Um, this is where I wish I was on Switch and not set. But we're going to go for the confusion because that's obviously going to be helpful. Hopefully Meganium will just keep hitting himself. Um... No, he's put up the Reflect. What does that do? <sighs> Physical defense has been increased. Is that right? I'm going to go into Gregor and hope that we can hit it. Petal Dance. Dang it. That hurts a lot. If it hits us again, we're going to be in trouble. I've got to try, though. I've got to try. Oh, that was an out. Ah! This is going to kill us. Oh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> this hurts me. This hurts me inside. Um, oh my life, oh my life. Frostbite cannot take a hit, though I would put Frostbite in. Oh, oh it's confused. It's, yes, it hits itself. That That is exactly what we need. Then we go for the Priority Ice Shard and Meganium is dead. Oh, but Meganium is not dead. And Meganium uses Synthesis. For goodness sake. This is going to kill it. Nearly. Nearly. I'm going to go for one more. Come on, this has got a kill. This must be a kill. It's a kill. It's a kill. It's a kill and Frostbite is still fine. It's a kill and Frostbite is still fine. <sighs> Magnemite. Hi, Magnemite. I have a problem because Magnemite needs to be destroyed by Gregar, but Gregar is in no position right now to do any kind of destroying. <laughs> Dang, damn it. We are not prepared 
We are not prepared to take on this Magnemite. We are not. I'm going to go for the confusion on it again. You T-wave me, but that, that's going to bounce back. That's going to bounce back. And you are paralyzed too. So I am going to take make. I'm going to take this opportunity. I don't know if this is going to be worthwhile or not, but I feel like it might be. Just to give me a slight advantage. Yes, and you're paralyzed too. So that is good news. Um, what? So I know they're not very effective. I know that. I can see that. Yeah, I thought they might just do that again. <laughs> Sonic boom. That's okay. We can eat those Sonics. We can eat those Sonics. We're both paralyzed. That's it. That's it. This Magnemite. This Magnemite is mine. I own it. Okay, what next? What next? What's next? Sneasel. Oh, well, once again. Wouldn't it be super, super mega awesome if... um. I had Gregor! It would be, but Gregor is, is injured to the max! I can't Dark Pulse this thing. Or bite this thing. I can't do anything to this thing, particularly. Um, Death Star, maybe. Let's do Death Star. Let's do Death Star. Sneasel's just going to hit itself, which is fantastic. And um, we're going to go for that waterfall right now. Faint attack! Nah, it doesn't do too much. Gets the rough skin. Yes! <laughs> I'm so super happy about that. I need to heal up my Pokemon though. I need to really badly heal up my Pokemon. Now, the plus side is that Haunter will go down to a crunch. Oh, he does. Oh, he does. He goes down to that crunch. He goes down, down, down. Bam, onto the floor. We win. You lose. Yes. Why? Why do I always lose? <laughs> um, because because I'm awesome. I I just don't understand. Is what Lance, is that, is what that Lance guy says true? That I don't cheat Pokemon properly. Love, trust. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I just don't understand. But it's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. <sighs> Dude. Dude, you've just completely destroyed my team, though. I really don't feel like... Oh, Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave you here. So you just chill out here. Don't worry, don't go any further on, though, because people will attack you. These rocket guys, and I'm not here to protect you. So you just chill here for one second. I'm just going to head to the Pokemon Center, heal up my Pokemon, and then I will be straight back. Okay, guys, are you still here? I hope so, because I'm back. I bought some potions as well and stuff from the shops. So we are good to go. We are ready to rock and roll. We are ready to take down Team Rocket. I am psyched. Can't get through there yet. I don't care if you're lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. Okay, word. Well, I think you're fine. There is something else that I could be if I show up here. And that's a hero. <laughs> hero Beck confirmed. Right, so let's go, Pepe. Babilabu, night slash that ratata. Night slash his face. Yes, okay. Yeah, I do think I'm cool. Well, no, I don't think I'm cool. I'm not cool at all. Um, I'm quite the opposite of cool. But uh, I'm, I'm going to kick your butt anyway. Open one door, another closes. But you can't even get where you want to go. Oh no, I remember this puzzle. And I remember sometimes it being like, oh, I've just done it and randomly and I don't even know how I managed it. And then other times being like, Oh my goodness, what is going on? I can't even figure it out. Um, disable. You can't disable something I haven't done yet. Oh no, no. Oh, I thought it was going to disable it as well. No, we're going to hypnotize you. Here, look into my eyes. Not around the eyes, but into my eyes. Dream Eater. I love this. Dream Eater. Um, hypnosis Dream Eater on my uh, Spirit Tomb. Is that viable, competitively viable on a Spirit Tomb or not? I just feel it's probably not because of the whole. Um, oh, well, that was a misclick. Stupid. I meant to click across, but I didn't. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, is that competitively viable on a spirit tomb? I feel like I, I feel like it probably wouldn't be because hypnosis will probably not hit as often as this if I was actually doing it in a competitive battle. <laughs> I feel like it's. Uh, I feel like I'm having let's play as luck or something right now. But I wonder what the accuracy is on hypnosis. I feel, uh, maybe I'm thinking, oh! Hello. Bebelabu is evolving. 
Come on, Pepe. There we go, guys. Oh, check him out. Look at I just love, right, how the little quiff at the end looks like, you know, this tail comes round and it looks like he's got a quiff. I'd totally be calling him Elvis or something, I think, right about now. And Pepe Le Pew wants to learn Flamethrower, so I'm going to say yes to that, I think. Because... 70, 80... I know it's like a special move. And my special is not that great, but it does give us some extra coverage on the team. Um, so in situations where Gregar can't come out, having a flamethrower on Pepe might actually, you know, it might be a little bit useful. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to have that. I'm taking that. I'm taking that all day long. We've got another full heal as well, which is awesome sauce. Right, so we need to figure this thing out right now. And it's all to do with pressing buttons. Now these guys, I seem to recall these guys have got nothing to do with Team Rocket. These guys are just like burglars, which is random that they're here anti- Look, see? Burglar Duncan. It's so random that they're here. And um, we're going to try this flamethrower out and just see what it does. Oh, the sound of that. Oh, the sound of that was powerful. Yeah, why are there burglars here? It's like, surely if Team Rocket were up to no good, they would not allow anybody else to be here. Unless, like, you know, they said before they had to, they've had to employ, like, new people. So maybe they've employed these burglars. Maybe they've employed these burglars. That's, that is a distinct possibility. Um, I guess. And they're just not, they're not Team Rocket members. They're just sort of hired muscle. But still, it seems a little bit odd that they're here and Team Rocket are allowing them to stay. So, I mean, I guess there must be something going on. I'm just thinking Frostbite up front because we haven't seen him for a while. Is it him or her? I can't remember. I'll check. I'll check. We've got a smoke ball as well. Smoke ball. I like smoke. I like the word. <laughs> That's stupid. Smoke. Smoke ball. Sounds good. Smoke. I think it's the way I say it. Dusk. It's like dusk. When I say... <laughs> when I say dusk ball on in my Let's, let's Plays... Um, yeah, see, they're here to, to, to grab leftover loot. I find it a bit odd. When I say when I say smoke and say dusk 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 ball or dusk stone, I have to say it like over pronounce it almost because I want to make sure that you guys know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> smoke. I think that's my accent as well though. Smoke. Actually, if I was saying it in my my proper true accent, I'd say smoke 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 ball because we see the O's like that. But because of my job, I've had to teach myself to speak a little bit more clearly. And then, so obviously, when I go onto YouTube, I do try and enunciate a little bit better than I perhaps would if I was just chilling out and talking to my friends. So I want to make sure that you guys understand what I'm saying, you know? You understand what I'm talking about. Right, so that's cool. Death Star's levelled up. We've got coughing coming in right now. I really want... I really want... Frostbite's come in and do that ice punch thing that he was doing so effectively before. Schmog! Ice punch. There's the hole. Yeah, ice punch. Dead. <laughs> Situation that's going on again. Um, and we defeated Orson. So, you know, these guys have just wandered in here and they're like looking for loot, but it's like, what? You, on the other hand, you are Team Rocket. Quahaha! Confounded by the doors, are we? <laughs> I'll, let you in the I'll let you in on the secret if you can beat me. <laughs> it's reminding me of Miranda right there. Confused by the doors, are we? <laughs> right. Um, ice punch. I'm loving it. Do 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 do. Frostbite's awesome. Right. So let's go for. I mean, I'm just gonna ice punch it. <laughs> oh, he just look at that. He lives it. But the ice shard is coming. The ice shard cometh, and Muck dies. And Frostbite's nearly leveled up as well. Go on then, tell me the trick. All right, a hint. Look at the colour of the door switches. You put, push the colour switch and the same colour door open. Oh, well that's... Do you know what? I knew that. So I need to open this door. So I need to open that green door. Yeah, well, I also need to open this red door. I'm trapped! See, this is it. When I think when I press them randomly... It makes sense to me. There you go, see? That wasn't hard. That wasn't hard. Was it? Huh? Huh? I think that's what it was. I think it's just like, I randomly just press buttons and it comes It comes good. 
Okay, let's fight you as well. Honestly, Team Rocket Grunt has got a gloom. Well, you know what? I've got the answer to your gloom. It's called an ice punch. I love Frostbite. I love Frostbite so much. I think Jordan from Norfolk Gaming sent me this. Maybe. Uh, that rings a bell in my mind. Possibly. Uh, what is it asking me? Night Slash. Night Slash. 7100. I know if you've... But that, yeah. I think I'm just going to go over the top of Assurance right there because Assurance, I feel, seems to be better in double battles. I don't know. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's a thing. Anyway. This guy is this guy is powerful. This Weavile is powerful. I feel like I want to make a competitive Weavile because Weavile is, is awesome. I'm putting in the work right now. Um... Have you leveled? You've leveled, so it's time to level someone else. It's time to level. Who haven't we seen yet today? We'll do not spirit and then Gregor, I guess. That seems legitimately like something we should be able to do. Let's grab this Poke Ball. It's a nice Ultra Ball to catch our sacrifices in. Holy crap! I'm looking at my timer right now, and it's like it says 16 minutes. Good grief, man! We've been recording for a long time, a lot longer than I thought we had. We're gonna have to get our we're gonna have to get our skates on. Anyway, I can see the director right here, so we're gonna grab the um, the key off him and hopefully. Oh, you see, that's the problem. You know, that's the problem. It's a massive problem that we have so much to do in this rocket headquarters business of the game. This this is like the big side. This is the big set piece uh, kind of storyline coming to an end section of the game. So there's an awful lot that's going on here, so I feel like I feel like we might need to continue this on Thursday and then be done with it. Then that means it's like taken three episodes, and that's just like crazy, 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 crazy. But you know what? It's got to take as long as it takes, right? I'm not going to sit here for 40 minutes. I I know that like 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute episodes are like you think probably the best. This one might end up being about half an hour, I guess, maybe. What we're, what I think we might try and do is we might try and get back to Golden the, the Radio Tower. Um, see if we can see how far we can get with that. Grimer, catch this hypnosis. See, look, this is this hypnosis has missed like a couple of of times, but that's it. Seriously, it's so super awesome. I don't think Spiritomb's holding anything that ups accuracy either, but that could be a thing, couldn't it? If it was a, a competitive Spiritomb, it could hold like, um... What's the thing? What's, what's the lens that ups accuracy? Scope lens, is it? There's wide lens, scope lens, and focus. Is there a focus lens? One of those ups the accuracy of your attacks, doesn't it? So, maybe. Maybe. I just have a little look at this while I'm thinking about it. I know this is taking up time right now. <sighs> Met at the mystery zone. Um, what are we doing? It's 60% accuracy. Good grief. I've hit loads of those things. <laughs> I did think that it was quite low accuracy. That's only just above half. And we have been doing way more than above half. I feel like it's going to start to like stop being effective soon. I feel like we're 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 in for a, for a run of bad of bad luck with it. Any any who's any who's Um, we, I can see the direct. I can see him. He is just down there, and we are gonna go and get him really soon. We just need to take out this coughing. So come on, Pepe. Let's. I love the uh, sound of the flamethrower. That properly sounds like a big bunch of fire. I don't really want to fight, think about where this fire is coming from, though, when it comes to uh, Pepe Le Pew. I can't imagine how he manages to to get fire to come out of his body from from his mouth or any other place. Right, so good. Here we go. We've got Sleep Talk. Ooh! We've got Sleep Talk. That's interesting. Um, hi! What? Who? What? You came to rescue me? Thank you. The radio tower? What's happening there? Take it over by Team Rocket. Yeah, take my key card. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll sort this out for you, I promise. I'm begging you to help. There's no telling what they do if they control the transmitter. They may even be able to control Pokemon using a special signal. You're the only one I can call on. Please save the radio tower and all the Pokemon nationwide. Right, got ya. I'm on it. I am on it. 
Like a car bonnet. Oh, uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Lol. Ah, we have an amulet coin as well. I'm totally gonna. I'm totally gonna give that to somebody. We want monies. I need more monies. So we don't really have much else to give to our Pokemon right now. The smoke ball. But I mean, <laughs> I don't need to give that to anybody. I'm gonna give this to. <laughs> don't really matter. Who comes in a lot? They all come in a lot. I'm going to give it to... Ow. I'm going to give it to not a spirit, I guess, right now. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so we are out, are we? Are we out? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Oh, do we need to use strength to push? Yeah, we... I'm not... I've not got time for this right now. We can, we can come back here later. Use strength to move the crates around, I guess, maybe. Um, hi, lady. I'd like to uh, go... Where the heck are we? First floor. Are we in the department store? Oh, might be. We are in the department store. Oh, interesting. I thought we were in the basement of the radio tower, but clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. Okay, right. So what should we do? Let's heal first. I think that might be just a real quick plan. We're on 21 minutes, I think, roughly. Um, so we've got time to get back there. Then I feel like we might need to just round off the episode. In fact, that's what we'll do. In fact, that is what we will do, guys. It is 21 minutes, so 22 minutes. Um, and we'll finish this off in the next episode. I'm sure you guys don't mind. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Um, so, guys, thank you very much for watching the episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, then, uh, you know, you could bop the like button for me. You could also drop me a comment. I love it when you guys comment on my videos. It really encourages me to keep going. I really enjoy it. So, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode of The Deathlock really soon. See you later, guys!